Hello, Hello we're, we're Moss Charmley. Charmley. And in this video, we're going to talk about the Huion Canvas Pro 16 2.5K tablet. Woo! <laughs> we have only used this tablet for about 23 days. It hasn't even been a month, so we haven't had it long, but since we got this tablet, we quickly and excitedly unboxed it and put it to immediate use. Yeah! <laughs> or did we? Yeah. We decided to get this tablet because we knew we needed to have a to-go or a travel tablet because we have other places to be and things to do sometimes. Um, we wanted a lot from this tablet, um, a light and easy to set up system or something that we can use with ease. So we decided on the Huion Canvas Pro 16 2.5K. Now, because we haven't really had this tablet too long, we do plan to do another review about it later, even though we worked this tablet to death right out of the wrapper but don't worry, it didn't die. We will let you, we will tell you what we feel about the Huion 16 2.5K. The good and bad, everything from the overall performance, build quality, and even must-have accessories. <laughs> and the temperature. Oh, the temperature. <laughs> okay, let's get this out of the way. Yes. This video is not sponsored in any way. All products and software we use is ours and purchased with our money. These are our honest personal opinions about what we use. Nothing more, nothing less. Thank you. Um, if you would like to support us, please like and subscribe because it helps us out. Yes, thank you. So let's let's start. Yeah. So we used the Huion 16 2.5K on a Mac M1 computer. The 16 gigabyte yes. of RAM variant. So we mainly use Clip Studio Paint with this tablet. We don't use Photoshop or any of the Adobe Creative Suite, so we really can't comment on their performance with this. So, sorry. Yeah. yeah. So we worked on our comic with this, with this tablet, and in conjunction with our Huion Pro 24 2K, or 4K, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is big where... big 24 4K, yeah. Yeah, so this is where we really pushed the Huion Canvas Pro 16 2.5K tablet hard. It just, we used it every day in scorching hot temperatures. So this tablet was working well at 90 degree Fahrenheit and higher weather. Yeah. And so that's 32.2 degrees Celsius or higher with no air conditioning and only fans. So that's what's going on here. <laughs> yeah. Um, we really don't recommend using tech at these temperatures. No. <laughs> no, because it's really not good for any technological equipment. You know, the, this did make the tablet have a few glitches when working on it. Um, we both believe it is the weather conditions we're, we're using them at. Yeah. You know, the glitches would be that the pen would jump whenever you were drawing or painting and it would happen on a few occasions and only at the worst hottest time of the day it didn't happen any other way you know you know it didn't bother us in any other way yeah either, it, so. it, it didn't happen enough to be a bother when it occurred it yeah. just it didn't diminish the experience of the tablet either yeah so when it would happen we would just hit undo and just continue drawing just like any other little mistake you yeah know? So we, we also believe that it, it, it's possible that it's occurring because we have not updated our operating system. Not on that computer. Yeah, yeah. and, and so. that would definitely affect it as well. Still Big Sur, I think. Yeah, well, so think we'll let you know how it works yeah. out in a later review. If you want to check out the comic, um, it's called Fancy and Pants, Bridge City PD, and it's on Webtoons. Uh, we'll leave a link in the description if you're interested. We also did this fan art pick here of Mio from Xenoblade Chronicles 3, because that's what I'm playing right now. <laughs> um, you know, um, we made it using this tablet. So. Solely. Yeah, solely. Together, which yeah. is cool. So yeah, Rusa, I got to draw and shade, and he got to paint yeah. and, and just make all these cool backgrounds. No, it's just, it was cool, because we worked cool. together. Yeah, I love that. You know, I think it's a cool thing. I like working with you. So, yeah, especially <laughs> in that way, because it's like, what artists do that? Nobody. So, at least anyone I've seen. So, yeah. Um, it really shows that even the size of the tablet, you know. Yeah, even being, with the size, yeah, you, know, you can still create high quality yeah. art. Yeah. So, it's really cool. Um, yeah. Let's talk about the screen, though. You yeah. know, it's glare resistant. It's laminated. Small, but not too small. Work area, you know. it's It's got okay brightness. It's pretty bright, you know, but it can't use it outside. 
um, very vibrant colors and contrast. Um, for this tablet, we had to really pump up the brightness on the screen, um, so our brightness was set up at about 90. So, yeah. Yeah. I, and it's, I think that's a common thing for smaller tablets because we have um, other smaller tablets where the same thing we had to pump up the brightness really high. Yeah. So I, wa I, I wonder if that's like a, a thing with smaller tablets. So let's talk about the texture of the glass. <laughs> <laughs> it's very interesting. Yeah. It is different than the Huion Canvas Pro 24 4K model. It has a bit more tooth. Yeah, you know, I agree to it. with that. So it's, it's, it's got a little bit more grain, I guess you can say. Yeah. So yeah. The Huion surface and it, the surface and stylus are our preferred tools for drawing and painting. The stylus has a good weight and a good girth to work for long hours with, you know. The screen doesn't really get hot, so it's actually possible to work until your heart's content on this. Um, and the aluminum backing of the screen, I am sure, has a lot to do with the diffusion of the heat. Yeah, you know? this so, yeah. this screen has worked in really hot temperatures, and that's yeah, pretty impressive. It has, and it doesn't really feel hot to the touch. At all, that's, so that's, yeah, that's kind of that's like the whole point. pretty impressive. <laughs> all right, so let's talk about performance. Yeah. <clears throat> this is what it has, okay, so deep breath, Whew. for real. 14 millisecond response time, Laminated screen for no parallax, 12,000 to 1 contrast ratio, 145% sRGB, so it's very color accurate. It has factory calibrated for Adobe RGB and sRGB settings. It is nine, or excuse me, it is 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity in the pen. It also has six degree tilt support, so, and that's the pen. It works on Windows, Linux, now, it's got these new, new drivers for it, uh, most Android devices. If you have a Samsung phone, it'll work with DeX. Mac OS 10.12 and later, that's Mac OS Sierra and later, and you can be artistically expressive with it too. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, this tablet comes with a multi-cable options, you know, uh, one is that Hydra cable that's it basically is two USB-C cables, uh, and then it just goes into that, you know, just like, it's like a little octopus, it's crazy. So anyways, and that'll do HDMI, USB-C, USB, it does the power and the video. Um, it also comes with another option where you have separated cables that are the USB-C multi-cable, I think Huion calls it. It's basically like a USB-C 4 or a Thunderbolt 4. Um, and then there's another USB-C that is specifically set up to supply power. It goes into a little power brick that is USB-C, um, and you're supposed to plug in both cables uh, for connecting the tablet to your computer, and then the other cable is for power. Um, in our instance, and most likely in many people's instances, um, the single USB-C 4, or the USB-C multi-cable, they call it, that it is supplied with, is all you will need. The laptop, our laptop, the MacBook Air M1, supplies power directly to the tablet. Absolutely amazing. Um, so it's a single cable option. Yeah. So it's awesome. It'll also work off battery. So you can unplug your, you know, your, your laptop. In our instance, it works. You, I unplugged that, you know, MacBook Air. It's supplying it power still. It sucks the battery a little bit more, of course, but yeah, it's keep, an amazing option. Keep your so, uh, keep yeah. your laptop charged. <laughs> for sure, for sure. You know. So yeah, for those who are new to getting a tablet, you know, you definitely need a computer to use yeah. this tablet. You so just, just keep That's that in mind. Yeah. It's not a not an Android or, or an iPad. Yeah, or it, it doesn't tablet. work like that. No, this is yes. <laughs> so the pen is very accurate with this. We kind of talked a little bit about it, but yeah. it just it, it's different than you know the one yeah. where you, uh, the other one we we have. So it feels very sturdy, and the weight's really nice. It it's actually different. yeah, it's it just it feels heavier and sturdier than the stylus that came with our Huion Canvas yeah. Pro 24 4K tablet. It has a nice grip to it. Yeah, you know, and it's almost like the materials have slightly changed. It's it in my opinion, yeah, it's almost like a, 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 totally yeah. for the better. It feels um, 
more structurally sound. I mean, that's you know nerdy, but it's it's basically no, it's the materials are denser. It feels much more of you know of a sturdy you know piece of equipment. You know, yeah. it's, it's very different, but it's strangely the same weight. So they must have done some chemistry magic, or something. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. So it's much better. So, but the same. Anyways. Yeah, it's great. Mm-hmm. So let's talk about lag. For sure. Um, this tablet has no lag. <laughs> Which it has none. <laughs> it has none. Uh, <laughs> it, it is very responsive. Um, it was just it was just as responsive as the Huion Canvas Pro 24 4K case that we use. Yeah. So, um, so all, all in all, yeah. yeah, it's super responsive and, you know, it's a great experience. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh. Okay, oh. so mm-hmm. uh, one last thing with this, we we feel that there is a must-have accessory for the Huion Canvas Pro 16 2.5K. Yeah. This might sound weird, but it's a laptop stand. Yeah, it's not that weird. Yeah, so we, we can hear the <laughs> wait what? Yeah. You know, yes, a laptop stand. It, it it seems a little bit weird, but you know. Gotta you're, hear us out. Yeah. Yeah. It it just it makes the experience supremely better and much more comfortable. Mm-hmm. So. Okay, we're going to explain why a laptop laptop stand. Yes. Right? So the Huion Pro 16 2.5K comes with that little stand, and it's robust enough to be able to support your use. Yeah, it's not a bad stand at all that it comes with. Yeah, we actually use it in conjunction with the with the laptop stand. Yes. So the laptop top stand takes it to a whole new level because it it raises the tablet to be more at an eye level with you. So you are in a much better drawing position. Yeah. This makes it so much more ergonomic to use. So, so it's, yeah, it's, it's really cool. It's so good. So like, so pretty much just adding the laptop stand makes it so you can be less of an art gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it really just, it saves your you back and posture. Always stretch, people. Oh gosh, please, yes. <laughs> so we bought two of these laptop stands in an Amazon sale. Um, the laptop stand is from Amazon. Yes, there we go. So here's the long Amazon description. It is new Laxi laptop stand, ergonomic sit to stand laptop holder converter, adjustable height from 2.1 inches to 13.8 inches, supports up to 22 pounds, compatible with MacBook, all laptops, tablets, 11 to 17 inches. So, oof. there it is. <laughs> the price fluctuates depending on the color you get mm-hmm. and if there's a sale. So, currently, the gray is the cheapest of the colors right now, and it is priced at uh, $55.99. So, that's 56 bucks with tax. Yeah. In the US. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> US Wait for dollars. a sale, seriously. Yeah. So, we, mm-hmm. we highly recommend this. And, you know, it, we're also, we're not sponsored. This is not, not sponsored. We got this on Prime Day, and it was some flash sale. And I was like, hey, let's give it a try. Yeah, and it, yeah. and I'm, I'm glad we did, because it's yeah. so good. And we use yeah. it for, for our laptops, Surprisingly too. Surprisingly good. It's so good. Yeah. So we'll talk more about these stands in a future video, because we have a lot to say about them. So this laptop stand really holds the Huion Pro 16 2.5K tablet. It holds it well, and including the stand that it comes with, and it withstands the pressure of drawing on it with the tablet on it. This thing is rigid and strong. Yeah. So and adjustable. It's yeah. Yeah, it, it's incredibly sturdy. So we'll leave a link in the description for the laptop stand. So check there too if you're interested in that. Mm-hmm. One little accessory that is fantastic, and this really only applies if you use Clip Studio Paint. Um, it is it is the Clip Studio Paint Tabmate. Um, we did a previous review on it, but it really makes using Clip Studio Paint a lot easier. Yeah. Um, we say this because... Um, <laughs> we both <still> use it. <laughs> we both use it, you know. Um, we, we were so excited to use this tablet, neither of us used the side buttons on it. Oh, yes. So that's why we're talking about the Clip, you know, tab mate. Yes. Yeah, so, so, yeah. Okay, I admit, I'm left-handed, and I just disabled the side buttons on the tablet and solely used the tab mate with this tablet. I didn't even turn the tablet to be in a left-handed position, and it worked really great for me. So I have to be honest with that. We'll let you know how it works in the left-handed orientation of the screen and with the buttons on the right-hand side in another video. So, But just to let any lefty out there know that it still works fantastically with the buttons turned off in the right-handed tablet position. So there were no problems with that, and it was enjoyable to use. So, and if you flipped it over and you were lefty and worried about it, it'll still work. Yeah, you know, it's not gonna 
be an issue. Yeah, I, I was absolutely in the flow of drawing and it worked great. So neither of us really even, you know, we just didn't use the side buttons very much. And yeah. So sorry about that. Next review, we'll get on that. For sure. <laughs> Resolution of the tablet is great. Yes. It may be small if you are used to a larger tablet. Um, we're used to our much larger Huion Canvas 24 4K tablets. Um, the resolution still was very good. Yeah. You know? The only drawback was when using the, the Huion Pro 16 2.5K tablet was with the Mac, you know, the Mac M1 and its UI. It basically scales the UI so that the icons are small and you can't you can't really adjust that so it's yeah. it's a mac thing it's it's you know? a, only a mac issue and you don't have to worry about any of that if you were using like windows or linux so no. yeah it, it wasn't really a big you know that big of a deal really mm -hmm. it takes a little bit of you getting used to yeah but, you know you wouldn't you know we we definitely would recommend this to any artist you yes know? if you are a student it's perfect, and if you want a travel setup, oh, it's yes. great, uh, you know. But make sure the backpack um, you'll be putting in it, it'll fit right, um, because this tablet is 17 and 1 8 inch wide and almost 10 inches high, uh, and it's basically a half inch thick. So it's it's very sturdy though, very robust. Um, but be careful because you know. Better safe than sorry with for, equipment. <laughs> for sure, you know what I mean. Yeah. For sure. So. That's, That's it. it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we hope this gives you a little bit more insight into the tablet. Um, we want everyone to know we highly recommend this for any digital artist. Yeah, it's great for students and professionals who want a more manageable digital art setup. Not too big, not too small. It's just right. Yes. You know, <laughs> so it's good. Yeah, it's a good tablet. Good tablet. There we go. <laughs> Moss Charmly out. out. The little tablet that could. It is. It is. It's the little big tablet. Yes. <laughs> I like it. Me too. <laughs>